Breaking news, and tonight people are taking to the streets all across the country. These are examples of nationwide division and how far we still have to go as a country in order to heal. We matter, we matter, we matter. Outside Los Angeles City Hall, mostly young people upset about their loss. We all felt the same way. We all felt like we had to do something. It was like a hopeless frustration. It's like we just needed to go out there and do something. It wasn't just Los Angeles. Pretty much every major city in California saw demonstrations. Hundreds of high school students staged walkouts. At UC Santa Barbara, students also turned out, including this protester who says his undocumented parents woke up heartbroken and scared. You could just imagine the fear in my family's hearts when they found out that this country is going to be led by that bigot. This freshman says she organized the protest at UC Davis. I was watching the election and I was kind of outraged at, you know, the results. So I thought that I needed to, you know, voice my opinion and have other people join me as well. In San Francisco, protesters set fires on the street. About 20 minutes away in Oakland, hundreds more marched and chanted. Police say several businesses were vandalized. At least 400 people turned out in Austin, Texas. By this afternoon, the crowds had reached the main mall of the University of Texas Austin campus. Police closed bridges and streets. The demonstrators chanted about immigration and the Black Lives Matter movement. People gathered outside City Hall in Philadelphia and in Mr. Trump's hometown of New York, the same story, chants and marches in Union Square. In Oregon, a huge showing, demonstrations turning violent in Portland. And University of Oregon students also exercising the First Amendment. In Arizona, with a huge Mexican-American community, hundreds of high school students in Phoenix walked out of school, marching to the Capitol. Thousands filled the streets of Chicago, swarming around a Trump property. Police set up barricades. Officers lined up in front of the hotel. Protesters carrying signs and chanting, no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. Nashville also saw walkouts and a sit-in at a major intersection, eventually moving to block a freeway. In Washington, D.C., a candlelight vigil right outside the White House. This is the second straight night of protests outside 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Also on Pennsylvania Avenue outside Trump's hotel, more protests. Outside American University, one person burned a flag. And these are just some of the protests around the country. We've seen plans for protests here in South Florida as well.